to us to judge. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I believe we need to continue with the. Con uh, uh, yes, we proceed. You have asked your question. The next is Mule. Thank you, uh, Speaker. And I just want to encourage members. We are here to vet nominees. We are not here to defend nominees. Let's maintain our decorum. We will have your time to do your report. Uh, this goes to the nominee. Uh, Madam Aisha, you know very well you are going to uh, the public service uh, department, which is the largest employee of Kenyans in this country, has a serious huge bill, and it requires serious reforms, including the unit you'll be adding of gender, whereby I want to hear from you what proposals do you have for the boy child, how to defend men, and give them opportunities within the government to become equal to the women in this country. Last is your vision for that ministry to resemble what you have just told us, that a citizen-related public service. Thank you. Well done, Mule. Can we all emulate Mule and ask questions like that? Razo? Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, Honorable Asha, uh, in Cliffy County Council, uh, you were a councillor and you replaced a man, of course, or I believe. And then you became a member of parliament as a women rep, Cliffy. Then you became a member of a single constituency and I believe you replaced a man. We were with you in 11th and 12th Parliament, and you really advocated for the two-third gender, where women must be given more affirmative action so that many of them will just walk to Parliament. Now, from where you sit, do you still believe in two-third gender, or women must fight for their space? Thank you, Chair. Aisha, you can now answer from Mishi, from the Honorable Posing, from the Honorable Mule, and from the Honorable Russell. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. On uh, Honorable Posing's question,